Remember that Legion 7 I Slim my friend let me borrow? Yeah, it's still with me. And today, I will explain to you why this, I think, is the best video editing slash gaming laptop. Or for animating, which is my job actually. If you have any complaints after watching the video, we can duel in the comment section later on. This is the last year's version by the way. There are only minor changes though to this year's version. Like how the 2022 model has a darker color, weighs a bit more, and has an indent on the back. And obviously the minor spec bump. I will also be mentioning the deal breakers of this laptop but before that, let's talk about the good things about this baby. First is the body. The physical design of this thing like my current Legion 5i is built like a tank. Mine is the X208. I'm used to traveling with a heavy laptop plus the charging brick so I didn't have a problem with the weight of the 7i Slim. This 16 inch monitor can easily be opened with a finger via that thing that protrudes at the center where the 1080p webcam is located. I love the aluminium anodized finish which gives the 7i Slim a premium look. Most of the ports are also at the back sandwiched by the exhaust which is good for easier cable management and I like that you can turn on the port icon lights by pressing function plus U. There's a certain angle though where you can kind of see the light through the tiny gap of the screen which may be a bit distracting for some people. A cool feature that my 5i doesn't have. The screen can also go up to 180 degrees but I never found a case where I needed to do that. Legion laptops are known to have amazing keyboards and this one is no exception to that. Ooh. You can customize the lighting in their software too but I usually turn the lights off on any laptop to conserve battery. But yeah, it looks great in the dark. That glowing dot is the power switch and you can toggle performance modes by pressing function plus Q. It also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. The glass touchpad is a bit small but you'll probably use a mouse anyway. I know I do. The speakers are not exactly mind blowing but it's good enough. At the right hand side you'll find the headphone jack, a physical switch for the camera and would you look at that, an SD card slot near the vents. On the opposite side are identical vents and two USB-C ports. Now that we have established how awesome this thing looks, let's get to the performance aspect of this beauty. As you would expect from a gaming laptop, this machine is amazing to game on. Although coming from an RTX 3060 user, I didn't feel much drastic performance improvement of the 3070 GPU when it comes to games like Cyberpunk 2077 which is a pretty resource intensive game. The 7i Slim struggles to get to 60fps on ultra even with ray tracing off so I recommend using a medium setting without ray tracing to enjoy a somewhat consistent frame rate. You won't have trouble playing games like Assassin's Creed Mirage or Valorant on max settings though and the gaming experience is smooth as fuck. The 165Hz refresh rate helps a ton with competitive FPS games too but I assure you none of these features will help you become a better gamer. Alright, when it comes to content creation you'll need a laptop that has a good CPU, GPU and a somewhat color accurate screen. Oh and a battery that can last for a while. The 12th gen i7 processor combined with the RTX 3070 is an insane killer combo for editing videos and animating and if you're looking for a 4K video editing laptop, this would be a good choice honestly. I didn't experience any delay with the playback on Premiere Pro and it can handle whatever editing element I throw at it. Rendering a 5-10 to 10 minute 4K video with some not so heavy effects didn't take a while as well. To give you an idea, I rendered my most recent video on this laptop which only took less than 5 minutes. If you're interested in that setup I built with this laptop, you can check that one out on my channel. Regarding the screen, the monitor is a 2560x1600 IPS with 500 nits of brightness and 100% sRGB. If you don't know what those meant, that's okay but I would say it's enough for content creation but as a gaming laptop, remember that its main focus is for, of course, gaming. I would advise you not to get this laptop if you really need a color accurate screen for your work. I didn't have a problem with the color accuracy of this thing or maybe because I can honestly fucking tell the difference but for me it's okay. A heads up so my Legion 5i developed some lines at the bottom of the screen after a year so hopefully this laptop won't encounter that problem. The customer service is top notch though so don't worry about it too much. Prepare yourself, here are the things that may discourage you from getting this laptop. The thermals. This machine can get pretty fucking hot even when doing nothing. 
Although you can factor in that I live in a tropical country and I don't have any AC so if I'm heating up just sitting doing nothing, imagine how hot this thing can get. Most of the time when I play video games, I use a controller so I wouldn't feel the trial version of hell when gaming but when I'm not using a controller, oh boy, it can feel like you're tapping the skin of Lucifer sometimes. Not to mention you can feel the warm heat coming out from the vents to whichever hand you use your mouse. My only solution is to get an AC I guess or use a stand and an external keyboard and mouse. Guess which solution I chose. Luckily, you won't feel as much heat when editing. It can still run hot though, but not like gaming hot, if you get what I mean. Gaming laptops tend to run hot anyway, so it's not like we have another choice. No thanks. Have you tried gaming without the battery plugged in? I know I did several times already and yeah that's a bad idea but on this laptop it can last up to two hours while gaming unplugged but obviously the frame rate will take a huge hit if you ever plan to game unplugged you can lower the refresh rate by pressing function plus r to have a far worse experience i highly advise having this thing plugged in when you can and you can also turn on conversion mode to extend your battery's lifespan by not charging it fully to 100 percent you can also charge this via the thunderbolt 4 port but it's only limited to 135 watts which will not fully power the device but it's an available option when you need it regarding the noise there's not much to complain about get a headset man or max out the speakers problem solved Lastly is upgradability. According to their website, it only has one RAM slot and it also has two slots for M.2 SSDs. I didn't bother opening it up out of respect since it's not mine. I don't want to break it. Lenovo laptops are kind of hard to open too in my experience. Okay, so how much does this thing cost? It will vary from country to country, but my friend paid a whopping 120,000 pesos, which is like $2,000 which honestly I think is a fair price for its specs and portability. I know people will complain about the portability of this thing, but come on, it's a gaming laptop. They're always heavy. What do you think about the Legion 7i Slim? Would this be a laptop you would get? Comment down below if you have a better alternative or if you just want to top it. Hopefully not. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing, I guess.